Hello and welcome to Dyson Demons. I'm Emma and in this video I'm going to show you the much needed skill of um, how to paint a space marine like a Christmas tree. Yeah, everyone needs that. Um, and so I I don't know where I got this, this idea. I just thought it would be fun. So I started off with a space marine that's been primed using the White Scars Primer from Citadel. And then I got out my pencil as you can see and then I started to uh, draw in some of the decorations. So I thought like the um, the small diamond patterns I thought could be like Christmas candles and then the uh, uh, the the circles they could be sort of like Christmas ornaments hanging from the tree. So I started off by painting the um, painting the uh, ornaments with a red paint and this is uh, Blood Angels Red from um, from Citadel. It's one of the contrast paints and I used a metal a sculpting tool as you can see with a rounded head because it's an easy way of getting something that is quite close to well perhaps not a perfect circle but perfect enough for this which is after all, all a well quite a fun but also very silly project then i grabbed some yand and yellow and i used that for painting the christmas lights then when I was done with that, I grabbed another contrast paint and this one is Achillean Green. It doesn't really matter much because this will all be painted over later on. But with that, I started to draw in the designs I wanted to use for, I mean, yeah, well, it's, I mean, it's the, it's the tree itself, like the green parts of the Christmas tree. Um, but I'm going to do it in a sort of stained glass window style and that requires some uh, shapes that you can fill out with different paints and so that's what I used the Achillean green for it just to give me something to go off when I started to uh, fill in all these shapes. I decided that I wanted to have two different shades of green just to give the model a little bit of some like visual interest and so I grabbed first the warp lightning contrast paint from Citadel and then the shamrock green speed paint from uh, the army painter. I think going back uh, over it if I had to redo the piece one more time I would probably go with two shades of green that were just a little bit further apart they were slightly too close for my liking but I mean I didn't want to redo the entire thing so I left it where it was and it, it worked out just fine then I decided for the gun I didn't want it to be green to uh, because I mean it's after all a gun you need to be able to tell it apart from the tree so I decided to paint it purple um, and uh, the purple paint I'm using here is purple swarm also one of the speed paints and then just to make it a little bit more fun I uh, ended up going with blue for the second color in the gun and um, I'm not quite sure what this illustrates in terms of a uh, Christmas tree perhaps I mean some sort of decoration right and I just thought blue and purple would work pretty well with the sort of overall green color scheme uh, while still looking slightly Christmassy at least to my eyes I don't know uh, I just thought like a black or um, metal painted gun would look uh, weirdly out of place here. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm trying to make a gun that blends in by painting it purple and blue. <laughs> that felt quite silly. Then I decided that the trim uh, should, like the overall color on the trim should be um, gold. Again, because I think that matches the theme of Christmas really well. And then I just painted some of the smaller details with silver to, to add, again, a little bit of visual interest. Next up, I start highlighting the tiny green shapes. And for the, um, for the parts of the model that have been painted with the uh, Warp Lightning Contrast paint, I started off with Mood Green, which is a color from Citadel. Um, it's sort of a nice, bright relatively warm green color that I thought would uh, would work uh, pretty well as the first layer of highlights. It only has the single drawback that it's not a fluorescent paint which means it doesn't glow under a UV light and I really wanted this to be sort of a, um, a Christmas tree that would uh, really light up a room. So for the second layer of highlights I decided to go with a a fluorescent green paint and this is from Huge Miniatures and this one is called Quantum Green. Uh, here on the video it looks slightly more yellowish than it is in real life um, but it is sort of a really nice vibrant green and it just made the uh, I think the mood green stand out a little bit more and made the whole thing pop which was after all what, what I was really going for. 
Then for highlighting the other parts of the green armor, I used as the first layer also a fluorescent paint from Huge Miniatures. It's, this one is called Gamma Green and it's slightly darker or slightly less <laughs> yellow uh, in hue than the Quantum Green I used for the highlight on the first parts of the green armor. My hope was that I could make these two colors uh, work relatively well together while at the same time being fairly easy to tell apart at a glance just because that would make the whole model a little bit more readable and also I think a little bit more fun. And then the last layer of highlights here is Starfire Yellow which is a very uh, nice yellow uh, fluorescent paint. Uh, so again this may means that the um, parts of the green armor that was painted with the shamrock green it's just overall a little bit more lighter and also a little bit, bit um, more cool in tone which helps uh, help you tell these two uh, parts of the armor apart. Then for the small Christmas lights I unfortunately don't have a more um, warmish fluorescent yellow color. I don't think perhaps they exist. Um, and so I had to settle for an ordinary yellow color and this one is uh, Flash Kids Yellow. And for the secondary highlight color I just used a little bit of Wraith Bone. Uh, unfortunately this means that the uh, lights will not be able to glow under a UV light but I was afraid if I used the fluorescent starfire yellow uh, it would sort of blend in too much with the green armor and uh, I didn't want that so I, I had to choose, I had to compromise just a little bit. Then for the red circles I went with another fluorescent paint and this one is called Radar Red. And it's not as warm and Christmassy as I might would have liked. Um, but on the other hand, it'll glow under UV light. And so I thought that was uh, a little bit more important. And I think it's, I mean, it's Christmassy enough. To, yeah, at least to my eyes. <laughs> then I used uh, another fluorescent paint. And this one is an orange one. And it's called Laser Orange. And I just used that uh, as a final highlight on the circles. For the gun, I first used a bit of another fluorescent paint. This one is called Blaster Blue. And I mixed it with just a little bit of white paint because on its own it was just a little bit too close uh, in color to the Magic Blue. And so it didn't really show on the model. And I'm going for something that's very sort of sharp and with a lot of high contrast and very easy to read. So it just needed a little bit of white to work. And then for the last layer of highlight, I just blended in a little bit more of the white paint. And for the purple parts of the gun, this sounds really strange, the purple parts of the gun, uh, but I quite like it. I used uh, another fluorescent paint from Huge Miniatures and this one is called Ultraviolet. I also mixed in a bit of white with the ultraviolet for the last layer of highlights here. Um, I often tend to use a pink paint for highlighting purple because I think the sort of whitish look uh, tends to make it look a little bit too pastel. But I thought if I used pink here it would um, kind of break with the overall idea and also perhaps be, well, just too intense really. and. Uh, take your attention away from the rest of the model and I didn't want that. Next up we come to what is probably my favorite part of painting a model with this sort of stained glass-ish uh, technique and that's painting the dark lines between each and every single shape and for this I'm using the Black Legion contrast paint. I want black because again it makes it really nice and sharp and I like the contrast paints for this because they just flow easily from the brush and has a nice consistency, I think. After I was done with the dark outline, I decided that some of the green shapes were just a little bit too uniform in color almost, that uh, it was a little bit difficult to tell the base color from uh, the first layer of highlight color. And so I went back over them with the same uh, either contrast paint or speed paint that I had originally used and just made them look a little bit darker and thus making them look a little bit more intense and uh, making the contrasts pop a little bit more. So this is where I originally intended to stop the project. I thought it looked fun and cool and then I started thinking, well, I mean, it's a Christmas tree. It, it's short, it's, I mean, it sort of needs a star on top, right? And of course, once I had that idea, I couldn't get it out of my head. So I had to, well, make him a star. So um, I drew a, uh, 
a star on a piece of thick cardboard. I didn't really have any cool star uh, designs lying around, neither plastic or resin, so I thought cardboard would probably do. And so I divided each of the sort of diamond, five diamond shapes that make up the stars, I divided that into two, and the first half I painted with uh, the contrast paint Yand and Yellow. And the other half with Griff Hound Orange. Uh, I thought they needed to be two different um, two different colors, but also sort of within the same color range to make it look like a star, but also make it just a little bit visually interesting. I then decided to highlight the orange parts of the star using again the um, laser orange that I had already used as the final layer of highlights for the circles on the armor, both because it would tie it all nicely together and of course again because this will glow under UV light which is always great fun. The yellow part of the star I painted with the um, starfire yellow, again this uh, very vibrant neon yellow color. Um, it's perhaps a little bit, I mean, not quite Christmassy because it doesn't have a warm tone, but I really want, wanted the star to glow under UV light, so that's what I ended up doing. Then for highlighting the orange parts, I used the flash kits yellow, and for highlighting the um, yellow part, I used the same uh, starfire yellow, just mixed in with a little bit of white. And lastly, I got out my trusty old Black Legion contrast paint once more and did a black outline around the diamond shapes and around the star itself and to make it look nice and sharp. And here you can see the final result. This is my take on a Christmas tree space marine, uh, something that the world desperately needs perhaps. Uh, well, it does have the added benefit. I might not be able to use it in a game or I'm not going to, but I have actually been allowed to put it like on a shelf during the month of December by my wife, who generally does not really want too much Warhammer in our living room, which I kind of understand. Yeah. Uh, and here you can see what it looks like under a UV light. And I think it looks quite fun. And I'm particularly pleased with the star. It just, well, shines and uh, just like a star uh, like a star is supposed to do so yeah this was really fun so uh, before you leave i would like to take the opportunity to thank the wonderful people who support dyson demons over on patreon so thank you so much to thomas masson scott broadway gwenna l queen's wolf double j's terrain mola mola cyber fossil steve iboli tj kubiak mandel project starcon 85 s bear Iconococcus, and elliot philby if you also want to support Dyson Demons on Patreon, I'll leave a link for that in the show notes. Also remember that you can follow me as Dyson Demons over on X, formerly known as Twitter, and on Instagram as well, if you want to stay up to date on my painting projects. So I really hope you like this video, guys. If you have other silly uh, ideas or suggestions for me that you might like to see my take on, especially on a Space Marine, it's just such a fun canvas, please let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to get back to you. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.